The title of this exhibition is called Elasticity, and it's a site-specific installation built um, specifically for the Bagwell Art Center here at Pellissippi State. And one of the things that I do as an installation artist is I get to the space, and I use the architecture of the room and the environment to start building my forms off of. Um, so Elasticity itself builds off of ideas of kind of a hybrid between the man-made structures that people um, surround themselves with, the synthetic materials, artificial materials that we have access to, um, and the exotic landscapes that populate the surface of the earth. So um, in this space you'll find an exotic landscape made with birthday party tablecloth and chicken wire, and those are the two materials that make up this environment. I've been planning on Crystal coming to Pellissippi State for two years now. I contacted her um, via email. I was very interested in her work and wanted her to, to come here and do an exhibit. There have been a lot of great artists that have come here, but Crystal is definitely one of the biggest. This particular show, I would say, is kind of the most special or the largest, um, definitely the largest in size, but uh, the largest show that we've had. One of the great things about being in the Bagwell Art Gallery is that um, it has a really specific character to it. So every single space that I build in, no matter how big or small, has a quality to it that I can use in my own work. And I'm just excited to be back in Knoxville in general because there's a really thriving, wonderful community of people here, um, so it's exciting to be here. My canvas is this room, um, and the things that happen when I get into a space uh, initially are I have no plan, no preconceived idea of what, what's going to happen. Um, so the challenge is get to the space, you have six days to construct an entire environment using these materials, paint in space with color, draw in space with line, and um, conceive of every possible cubic square inch of space and how to take advantage of it. 12 to 14 hour days every single day, um, pretty intense experience. I think that it takes conviction, I guess, so I'll work as hard as it takes to make the work. Um, and I have an amazing assistant who travels with me all over the United States, um, so it's helpful. She works just as hard as I do and she believes in the work too, so it makes it, um, it makes a splendid experience. When I came in on the first day and she was building the initial structure, I was blown away. I thought it was exquisite. I was overwhelmed by the size and the fact that she had come in here, looked at the space, and then responded to it immediately and started to work was, was pretty amazing to see in person. And now that it's finished, I think it's overwhelming in a really good way. This show in particular is meant to be experienced. It's important that we come in here and we see the space and we walk through it and that we thoroughly experience it. Because if you think about it, the nature of this exhibit, it's an installation. It won't ever really be hung in this capacity like this again. So this is super, super special and I would highly encourage anyone to come experience for themselves.